Hey guys, it's Ben here from NGB, and previously the only way to upgrade your PlayStation 4 hard drive was by doing this, and um, there's a video tutorial that we did previously about this. But the advent of uh, PS4 firmware 4.5 sees the introduction of being able to use a USB drive as a primary storage drive so you can play games from uh, the USB. Here's how to do it. First off, you need to get your USB hard drive, as is shown here, and plug it into any USB port on the system. Please make sure that your hard drive is USB 3 because otherwise it's not going to work because it needs the bandwidth. So once you've done that, you need to head to this section of the PlayStation menu. So it's in devices and then USB storage devices. Once you're in there, go in and hit format as extended storage. What this will do is it will just very quickly run through the, uh, the, the, the process to, to get it all formatted. Um, and then once that's done, it doesn't take too long, this is all in real time. Um, once that's been done, you need to go to the manage content option. So there you go, that's done, hit OK. Um, and yeah, you go to manage content, you'll be able to see the uh, the difference in you know, sizes between your internal storage and your external storage. Um, so going back into it here, very quickly you can see there, I've already installed a two terabyte drive in my system. So I've got a two terabyte drive internally, and then I've got an external one terabyte drive, which is just there. So what you then need to do is go into the drive, uh, your, your internal drive, you can scroll down and you can basically move anything that you've got on your internal drive to the external drive really straightforwardly. All you need to do is click on it and then um, go to move to extended storage. Click on the games you want, click OK, go to there and then hit move. Now the benefit of it being USB 3 is that it's really quick to move stuff across. Obviously it's going to depend on the size of the game and it's kind of why you need the USB 3. So then what happens uh, once that's moved across um, you'll be able to see it on the main menu still, so that the games and everything stay on the main menu as they normally would do, so you don't need to worry about messing up your folders or anything like that. Um, so you can see here, I've just moved the swindle across and that's still in the list there. What you need to do though, if you ever want to stop using it, is hold down the PlayStation button um, and then in the quick menu go down to stop using extended storage. And basically what that does is it safely disconnects it so you can unplug it. Um, you'll see any titles that are there, as demonstrated here, they'll have a little exclamation mark on which basically says that they're on an external drive that isn't connected to the system. Um, so if the exclamation mark's there, you just need to make sure that the drive is plugged in and, and usable. Um, so the next thing I'm going to show you really is what happens if you unplug the drive without um, doing that process. So you've got, the, uh, you've got the game here, and basically if you unplug the hard drive, you'll get an, uh, an error message pop-up that says here, an extended storage device was not disconnected properly. All you've got to do is you've got to make sure that if you're taking that drive out, you hold down the PlayStation button and then go to Devices, stop using extended storage. Um, basically, it will just stop you from naffing up the drive, corrupting any data or anything like that. What will then happen is when you plug it back in, um, you'll get this screen come up here which says the extended storage device you connected was not disconnected properly the last time it was used. So you hit OK um, and essentially all it does is it goes through a quick repair process um, so you know anything that you've got can be uh, can be fixed up if there is any uh, error on the, on, the, uh, on the drive. And to be honest with you, that's about it. You know, gone are the days of opening up your, your PS4, sticking a new drive in. To be honest, that was quite a straightforward process to do. But now, with this new process, it's really, it's really, really easy. One handy thing about this is you can install all of your games onto an external drive and then uh, take that drive to your friend's house, sign into your account on his PS4, plug your hard drive in, and away you go. You don't need to re-download any patches, you don't need to do anything because it's all on the drive. Um, it's really handy, essentially that's been like that on the Xbox One and it's a little bit overdue in terms of the PlayStation 4, but now you can do it, it's really handy. Um, so that's about it really. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please chuck us a like down in the, you know, down in the, the section below and leave us a comment as well. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we have loads of stuff going up like this all the time. Um, and enjoy all that new space on your PS4. Alright, see you soon guys. Bye.